Good morning, guys. Friday is here. Here is a gift from me to you. Now, one of the things that I am I am a firm believer in is separating the data from the drama, looking at the numbers, reflecting on our thoughts, our feelings, and deciding what to do, what the next step is based upon the information and our reflections of that. And we're back in the room. Now, okay, third time lucky. One of the benefits of doing that is that we get to use that information because if the data is all good, but we're not happy, then we definitely don't want to just continue doing the same thing. But again, if we are, things are good, we're happy, right? But the data doesn't show that, then we need to see what is going on. So it's a good the conversation starters, if nothing else. And these are always things I would recommend that you do, regardless of your goal and the level of support that you have and where you are. Now, that said, one of the things that in specific with business is something called know, like, and trust, right? So if someone's going to work with you, they need to know who you are, right? Makes sense. Then they need to actually like you or like your brand or like your product or like your service to some degree. Now that's, that's relative. I'm trying not to fall over. But again, it's part of a part of a process. And they do need to trust you, right? They need to know that you can look after them, that the product's going to be what they want, that it actually works. So again, no like and trust. Now, as much as these are good things for business owners, as much as these are essential parts of any process of success, they are just like that in our personal health. So how can we use a proven methodology that the marketers and the business owners and the coaches say people like me to do within what they do? Well, let's say you want to improve your habits. Let's say you want to lose weight. Let's say you want to increase your motivation and be able to exercise without feelings of guilt, beating yourself up, skipping workouts, and just waiting until January, all right? So those those thoughts are gonna to start to creep in now. What's the point? Should I wait till January, etc., etc. So, no like and trust. So first and foremost, lots of notifications on my phone. First and foremost, we wanna get awareness, okay? So it's no like and trust. First one is no. We wanna get awareness what's going on right now, which involves data and drama, numbers, reflections. What have I tried before? What do I weigh? What do I want? And, and this bit's relatively easy, what do I not want? For context, I was interviewing a client of another coach last night, doing a client testimonial, and that person said they didn't just want to pay someone to make them go to the gym and then work out for that hour, only then to go home and keep doing what they're doing and not get where they want to be. They wanted someone to hold them to account to do the things for themselves so that they could keep it up for the long term right? Awesome. So that's, that's good knowledge that that person had at that time before they got the help of one of my very good friends. So knowledge, what's going on right now? Some of it's easy. Okay. Some of it's easy. I need to jump on the scales. All right. I want to do Take some photos. Don't even need to look at them, by the way, but you know, taking them is key. Taking them, well, it, it can be key. It can be. It's up to you what you do. It's your life. 
measurements. All right. Maybe a workout tracker. Maybe you're a spread spreadsheet guy, right? Maybe I need to get on Excel. Use one of the things that I use in my business, right? Seems to work in my business. Maybe it'll work in my health. That's a good thought. So the acquisition of knowledge, the acquisition of knowledge, both self-knowledge and environmental, situational, psychological, physical, knowledge is power. No, it isn't. Knowledge, we, we need knowledge before we can be powerful, right? We do need to have order and get the truth on the table, whatever, whatever that is. Hello. <laughs> there we go. So, no like and trust, right? So, like. All right, like. This is the bit where everyone wants to get to. This is the bit where everyone wants to get to. It's like three stages, right? Like. This is where we gather momentum. This is where we start to get these wins. This is where we start to see signs of success. This is where we start to... I'm getting excited, right? This is where we get excited. This is where it's like, right, awesome. We're back in. This is the zone, all right? This is the zone. What don't we have in this zone? So we're not beating ourselves up. We're not worried about failing. We've got mental clarity. We're driven. We get up earlier. We sleep better. We have better conversations. More opportunities come up. Like, it's weird, but this is where we want to be. All right. But again, without the first bit, perhaps that's going to be fleeting. But with the first bit, it's the next logical step. Awesome. What does that look like? Again, five pillars, right? Diet, exercise, mindset, motivation, lifestyle factors, and habits. What am I measuring? What am I progressing? Progression is the foundation of happiness, right? Progression is the foundation of happiness. So diet, exercise, nutrition, mindset, motivation, and habits, lifestyle factors, right? So as long as I'm moving forwards, I'm, I'm never going to be done. I'm always going to want more. It's what it is. As long as I'm moving forwards, I'm good. All right. Or maybe I'm just as good as I can be, right? Anyway, it's the fo progression foundation of happiness. Yeah. Heard that on a YouTube video. Feel free to write that one down. Yeah, it's not mine. Again, like all of this stuff, it's borrowed and it's a gift from me to you. So, hopefully you're up to speed. Everything's kind of making sense, right? The next one is trust. Now, I, I do know that I said we all want the second bit. But we really want the, the, the third bit. We might not want the first bit. It's like, oh, I know what to do. You know, I don't need knowledge and self-knowledge. I mean, like just no. Jump on the scales, take the pictures. Are you happy? No. Right, there's work to be done over there, mate. Like the first bit for some people that's the hardest and first part but let's move on trust with the no and the like we start to learn and actually trust ourselves, our process our systems we gain confidence we're in more in integrity and that transfers to all areas of your life question to finish do you think it's any coincidence that i sound more confident than ever and i look better than ever i don't think so but you know what if it is a coincidence it's not a bad one all right this stuff is important and uh, i'll speak to you on monday have a great weekend team